Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for Revit I will show you how to create suspended buffer system such as this one that you can see on the rendering of this pool hall and previously I created a tutorial which was using pre-made uh, Lindner family which was nice but the disadvantage was that you could use it only on a square footprint of the ceiling but here with this method we will be able to create buffer system with uh, any shape that you want to have first i will show you how to create the buffer system on a simple room like this so let's get into the project and the room that i want to create the buffer system is this relaxation room so let's start so here we are in a floor plan view of the room but i will want to see the ceiling view so i will open the ceiling view of the room i will zoom in and now i will start the roof tool roof by footprint and revit is surprised that i want to create roof on level one but since we are creating roof tool to create something else not roof it's okay revit is asking would you like to move the roof to level two i will say no because i want to stay on level one and now i will create a boundary and here i can create any shape that i want you can see that this room has a shape that is not rectangular it can be any shape i want i'll just trim these and now i've got the outline of the buffer system now here you can see that it's trying to create a slope and i don't want this roof or my buffer system to be sloped so i will select all of the lines and uncheck defines roof slope because i want it to be flat now the important thing is that we don't want to create roof but instead we will create slope glazing this is kind of like curtain wall and we will adjust it so there will be just uh, just buffers so this is important first we will start with this one and now we will also set up base offset from level let's set it to let's set it to 2000 millimeters so that's two meters and now let's see what we have created you can see in the ceiling plan that i don't see much but if i go to this section i will go to this view this is the section of the room and here you can see that this is my slope glazing it's flat and basically it's flat panel i will also go to 3d view and you can see that this is the this is my slope glazing it's just flat panel so now we will adjust it so that it will it will be baffles I created a section of my buffer system previously and I want the individual buffers to be 40 millimeters wide, 100 millimeters high and 60 millimeters in between uh, two buffers. So 100 millimeters is axis to axis of each buffer. So let's go to adjusting my slope glazing. So first I will go to edit type and I will duplicate it and I will name it buffer system okay you can see that the default uh, slope glazing has no grids and we will create just one grid in one uh, direction so we will use grid one and change it from none to fixed distance because we know we want to have uh, 100 millimeters between two axes of each baffle so fixed distance and the spacing will be 100 millimeters now we also need to set up the shape of each baffle and this is grid one mullions and we don't want to have border one or two type on the borders we just want to have interior type and from this drop down menu there are some pre-selected uh, shapes and first we will go with uh, this let's say 50 by 150 millimeters just to see what we have and we will click ok because revit thinks this is a curtain wall or curtain glazing on the roof 
Uh, it tells me that some panels may be deformed or not created properly. Uh, I will click OK. Sometimes uh, it's because it's not aligning to this part of the wall exactly as I want it to. So it's, it's reminding me of this. But let's look at the section. And you can see that I have these individual baffles. And the size is 50 by uh, 150. That's the size of the that's the size of the mullion. And I've got still these pieces in between, which are panels. And they are they are glazing panels. So we will want to get this size of baffle properly, as we want it to 100 by 40, and also, we will want to get rid of these, these uh, panels, panels in between. But you can see that the, uh, that the distance between each buffle is 100 millimeters, which is correct. So let's select the buffle system. Let's go to edit type. First, the, these panels in between are curtain panels. And even though there's none selected, when here none is selected, it means that the default one is placed. I don't know why, but to have empty space there, you have to use system panel empty. And when we hit apply, you can see that there is nothing in between each baffle. And to change the uh, mullion size, we will go to OK. I will tap several times to select one mullion right click and i will go to i will um, find it in project browser so now i have it here this is the mullion this is the uh, mullion shape that i have used and i will right click and i will duplicate this one and i will name it 40 millimeters by 100 millimeters this is the one that I have duplicated and I now I want to edit this one. So I will go to type properties and here first the thickness is my height. So I will change it to 100. Width on side 1, width on side 2 is the width of the, of the mullion or of the buffle. And it's distance from the axis of the mullion. So I will change it. 20 and 20 which together makes 40 so this is 40 by 100 now we'll go okay nothing has changed here because in my buffer system in my uh, slope glazing i have still selected this rectangular mullion so i will change it to rectangular mullion 40 by 100 hit okay and you can see that now each buffer is set up properly now it's shaping up nicely. What I will now want to do is place the buffer system at the height so that the bottom of the buffers is it, at height 2300 millimeters. So I will select buffer system. When selecting it's important because sometimes you can select each buffer or you can select the grid or the mullion and then you can select the uh, whole system so it's important where you click on uh, what you choose so i want to select the whole system and i will base offset from level and i will set it to 2300 and you can see that the bottom of the buffer system is below 2300 this is because by default the mullions are placed at the axis of the system. I could solve it by having it 2350 like this, or if I don't want to calculate it, I can adjust my uh, mullion in type properties. The thickness is 100 and here I've got offset. So if I set offset 50 and go OK, it will be offset each each uh, million or each uh, the prof each profile will be offset by 50. So now you can see that uh, if I go to uh, the camera, 
the buffer system is set up properly. What I also want to do is set up the material of buffers and I will set it up in the mullion setting. So I will again select one of the mullions, right click and find in project browser. Right click here, type properties and here in material instead of aluminium I will change it to walnut. Okay, and you can see that the material has been applied. Now there is some fine tuning when I go to the ceiling plan. You can see that these border distances are uh, set up to 50 here and also 50, 60 here. So if I want to change these and I've got mm, this buffer here is kind of not placed nicely. If I want to move these, I would I could move individual buffer if I unlock it. And now I can move the axis, but this wouldn't be proper because then this distance is bigger than this one. So I will go back a few steps. Toggle pin. The way I usually adjust this is I select the whole buffer system. I hit tab several times in the ceiling plan and I select the buffer system and I edit the footprint. And if I move this line, let's say um, 50, it will be the same, I think. And 50 here. it moves the moves the buffer then i've got bigger mm, bigger spacing here and bigger spacing here so i mean you have to play with it you can adjust these these lines and uh, and uh, adjust it so that it works that it fits mm, all the places that you that you want so this is how you would do it uh, Let's move it. Okay, now the final piece is is up here. So sometimes uh, you have to adjust it by hand like this. What is useful with this method of creating buffer system is that you can edit the footprint retrospectively. So I could maybe move this line like this, and the buffer system adjusts or here I've got a chimney of a fireplace, so I could create, I could create a, a opening here. I have to select it and unclick defines uh, roof slope, and you can see that the buffers are adjusted to make space for for chimney. You can see it here. I've got the chimney uh, unhidden un here. It's hidden. If you wanted to have buffer system that runs not this way, but horizontally from my view, um, we will create a new roof. Again, no. And we will select our buffer system. And we will edit the type and duplicate it and name it buffer system horizontal okay and now we won't have grid one fixed distance we will disable this one it will be none and we will be disable also this these interior mullions but instead we will use grid two and we will give it fixed spacing 100 and grid two mullions interior type and this will be our mullions and now let's create one here. Let's say like this. Let's select all the lines. Defines roof slope, roof slope disabled. And this buffer system runs this way. The last thing I want to mention is when I was creating buffer system for this pool hall, this buffer system is quite large and when I was creating it, I ran up to a problem 
and uh, the problem is that when you are creating a large buffer system from this uh, from this roof uh, glazing there is a limited size that you can create so here this is the buffer system and i had to create it from one piece and then from second piece this is the ceiling view so here if i want to create roof and i will select my uh, buffer system and i will do it just a quick dirty way i will create this way here like this this was a uh, this is quite difficult shape and I'll just do it this way, this way, this way. And now I will select all of these. It doesn't define slope. So I will select this one. And Revit is telling me that um, there are more than 200 lines in one direction and it doesn't enable me to create the one buffer system. So instead of having one large one, I created two, two pieces, two smaller ones. So this was the one. And then I created a new one. And again, I selected this one. And I will now create it simply like this. And one, two, three. Split line, trim here, and okay, trim once more, and uh, attach. And this is how it was created. Then I had to be careful so that here uh, some baffles may overlap. It it looks it looks okay as I have created it here. So this is how you create suspended buffer system using roof tool with uh, glazing. It's kind of a workaround, but it works quite well. If this tutorial was helpful, click that like button and take care.